the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. It's Tuesday. We're in the sixth week of Easter, and this is the week where we uh, have the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ on Thursday. We move it to Sunday so that we can celebrate it when everybody uh, is gathered together in the church. But we're just finishing up Easter, and then we're coming into these, these holy uh, solemnities. We have Ascension, we have Pentecost, we have the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, we have Most Holy Trinity, and so right in a row we're going to just really be filled with the grace of these wonderful solemnities. And so that we can prepare our hearts this week, let us call to mind our sins, I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant almighty and merciful God that we may, in truth, receive a share in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crown in, in Philippi joined in the attack on Paul and Silas, and the magistrates had them stripped and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When he received these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet to a stake. About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, as the prisoners listened, there was suddenly such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook. All the doors flew open and the chains of all were pulled loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he threw his sword and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted out in a loud voice, Do, not, do no harm to yourself. We are all here. He asked for a light and rushed in and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to everyone in his house. He took them in at that hour of the night and bathed their wounds. Then he and all his family were baptized at once. He brought them up into his house and provided a meal, and with his household rejoiced at having come to faith in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is, Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your, Your right, right hand saves, saves me, O Lord. Lord. I will give thanks to you, O <clears> Lord, <throat> with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your right, right hand, hand saves, saves me, O Lord. Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Your right, right hand saves, saves me, O Lord. Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Your, your right, right hand, hand saves me, O Lord. Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I will send to you the Spirit of Truth, says the Lord. He will guide you to all truth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lord, to your Lord. Lord, be in our minds, on our lips, and in our hearts. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me. And not one of you asked me, Where are you going? But because I told you this, 
grief has filled your hearts. But I tell you the truth, it is better for you that I go. For if I do not go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regards to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin because they do not believe in me. Righteousness because I'm going to the Father and you will no longer see me. Condemnation because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So in the Gospel reading, says in the book of Acts, uh, the Holy Spirit is being talked about. Jesus is saying, I'm going to go away. This prepares us for ascension when Jesus ascends into heaven. He says, but if I do, it's better. I'm going to send the Holy Spirit. And you actually are going to do greater things than if I were here by myself uh, with the Holy Spirit. But with all of you filled with the Holy Spirit, great things will happen. And we see that happening in our Bible study in the book of Acts. How the disciples are doing even more bold things uh, themselves with the Holy Spirit in them. But there's always seems to be this little battle between uh, do we believe in the institutional church or the charismatic church? And so uh, the disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit and they were replacing that institutional leadership of the Jewish people who uh, would persecute them, who would not accept the miracles uh, that the Holy Spirit was doing. And so we've always had this tension between the institutional church and the charismatic church. But we believe in both. We always put them together. The Spirit separates unto me Paul and Barnabas. And so they go on to missions. Paul and Silas go on missions. And so uh, the Holy Spirit's directing all that. But when they have a question, Paul and Silas, about what's going on, they go to the institutional church that's set up in Jerusalem. James is the leader of that church. And so James has all say. And so James also says, when he, when he makes his ruling, he says, it seems good to me and to the Holy Spirit. And so let's always have our balance. Let's always have the fire of our Holy Spirit experience in the fireplace of the church. And let's always have that beautiful church filled with the fire of the Holy Spirit. Let's be both and not either or, or people. Let's embrace the wonderful Holy Spirit that Jesus is sending because he is ascending into heaven. That's our faith from the very beginnings and what a wonderful faith we have. And now let us offer our prayers for our church and for our world. Loving Heavenly Father, we pray for our church that you might just renew us by the outpouring of your Holy Spirit that the fire of your Holy Spirit might burn uh, in a beautiful way in the institution of our church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our world, that they might uh, be blessed by the outpouring of the Spirit on your church, and may it just flow through our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for Holy Redeemer, that we too might share in both the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and the beauty of the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way, uh, that they might have a good report, that they might be touched uh, by your right hand, your healing touch, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, for those who have died, that they might see the glory of God this day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who <coughs> grieve and are sad, that need your consolation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those unspoken prayers of everyone watching, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we bring all these prayers to you, our loving Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself. 
to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, we ask you to receive us, to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer in humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sins. And now pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is a ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks and praise, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Earl, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At 
the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with, with you. you. Peace be with you all. I can do stay. Qui tollis peccato mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccato mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccato mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. tasted and see of the sweetest of loves when my heart becomes free and my shame is undone in your presence Lord. Holy Spirit you are welcome here Flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for to be.
Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.